Come on, Chicky. Come on now, I don't have all day. Come on, Chicky, come on. You can do it. These chicks decide to be uh, hatched right before Easter. A tad bit early. There you go, Chicky. There she goes. These eggs are Easter eggers or Americanas. You see the eggs are blue and green, olive colors. They're called Americana chicks. And this one is slowly coming out. He's got some friends over here that are trying to hatch too. Come on, Chicky. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Chicky. I've got things to do, I don't know about you, but. Come on. Okay. Poor little thing, I'm gonna leave it alone so it can, uh... there she is, she's coming up. She or he, you never know. Come on, Chicky. It's time. Come on, Chicky. You're actually not supposed to move them at all while you're waiting. About three days before they are supposed to hatch, remove them from your turner Place them on this little screen so that they can position themselves to hatch. And there they are. They're usually like whipped when they're born, just like humans. When they're hatched, rather. There you go, Chicky. You can kind of see the colors of it. It's an Easter egg or... They usually have a little stripe. Whoa, that was rough, wasn't it? 
I'm going to leave them alone so they can uh, finish hatching. The Easter eggers are usually turned. There you go. There you go. It's actually a pretty little color when they when they dry. They, the yellow with a little streak down the black streak in the back. With this one, you can't tell. And when they hatch, they kind of interrupt the others. But then I'm told it promotes the others to hatch as well. When they hear, you know, the chirping going on, they begin to hatch also. I just uh, raise them so they can run around the yard. And just be free. You made it, little cheeky. Now you just gotta dry off. But I don't know if you can see, but there are others that are trying to hatch also. This one has pipped and then there's another one that you can see that one is pipping that one will hatch soon so who knows in the morning they may there may be a lot more and I usually let them stay in for about 12 hours. I didn't know about these because I didn't turn them the first couple of days, but uh, I forgot to turn the uh, automatic turn on. But, as you can see, they survived anyway. After three days, I think I turned it on. I was like, did I turn it on? Supposed to turn them every about three times a day, as the mother hen would do. Wow, there you go. So anyway, I'm gonna turn the lights off and let them leave them alone so they can um, rest and hatch. But I see at least two more. The incubator has been uh, kind of acting weird. So I'm not sure all of them will hatch. But uh, they're coming along. They're moving. 